What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to more of my Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. Let's play. Uh, let's go answer this phone. Where's the damn phone? Oh, it's right here. Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo to find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. Did he really just say Joe's Pleasure Palace? <laughs> Do I have anything else in the closet? No, I don't. Oh, uh, uh, hi there. What's the matter? Nothing good on the radio? Mind your beeswax, kid. Okay, I guess. Oh yeah, this is my rust bucket of a car. Oh shit, I could have repaired it. Let me uh, can I park it in the garage? Let me park it in the garage and then I'm gonna repair it. Actually, yeah, it's my baby. That's 177 dollars, but. Do what we gotta do. Alright. So I do apologize for the first video being super lengthy. I did not mean to make the video that long. Um, sorry I didn't do a lot of commentary. Um, so I'm using my Turtle Beach stream mic if you couldn't already tell so I can hear the game through my headset and I can actually act accordingly and actually hear. Oh, let me turn this off because I do not want to get a copyright strike. I gotta go all the way down to the docks. I'm gonna change the place. Oh, this is two lanes, okay. Oh, what I think there's an achievement for going above 30 miles an hour for five minutes straight. You got to stay above it. I'll have to fig I'll have to figure out what I want to do for the driving. Um so you guys don't have to sit through me driving. I might I might cut I might cut it out maybe in the next video, but for now I'll just leave it in there. I'll try to see how many missions I can fit into this uh I'll see how many missions I can try to fit into this video. Bring this a little bit closer to me. Already dropping shit.
Right. And I think I need to what, go upstairs if I'm remembering this correctly. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papalotto. Oh, yeah? Why? My name is Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well... We all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. Uh, follow me. I hate working for assholes, dude. Especially when it's the boss that's the asshole. That just makes it even worse. Load this pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Start now and don't take all day. All right, we can do it. It might take a while. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Who the fuck wants to move boxes around all goddamn day? Uh, I'm trying to record a video here, and I gotta do this? Are you serious, bruh? Jeez, all this for ten lousy bucks? You gotta be kidding me. For real, though. Oh, sorry, I don't want to be too loud. For 10 bucks? Nah, uh-uh. Ain't going for it. Leave when you've had enough. I damn near have had it. I'm doing this for five fucking minutes. I already hate it. I'm actually really curious to see. If he, if he doesn't have any more dialogue, then I'm just going to stop because... I certainly don't want to fucking do this. Move all these damn crates. All these crates are going to have to go in the back of this truck, aren't they? You know what? I don't need this chicken shit money. Alright, good. Thank goodness. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. 
to make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit, nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. You know, I should at least get some pay for moving some of those crates. Probably only give me like a damn penny. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who want a load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother talked to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> My mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, yeah, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. Might not be home. That wouldn't be good. Hi, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. i talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it into Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Yeah, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. Is it just me, or did both of them kind of sound the fucking same? to collect the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Thanks. Appreciate your cooperation. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. And hey, what kind of game you playing here? The kind where you pay what you owe and you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. <laughs> Damn, these niggas just... Come on, 
on, you little baby. Here's your fucking money. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? You know... Mm-hmm. Get you. Come on. Get it. Come on. Which one I'm going? Which one I'm going? Which one I'm going? Left? Right? Ooh. I'm over here trying to press X and shit. Yeah, I'm not in the mood for your shit. Come on. Okay, you gotta use light. Light hits on him. Okay. Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? <laughs> well, make sure you pay the barber. <laughs> Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Uh, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. And say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. And Vito, I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. You know, it's so weird because that entire cutscene, it was just coming out of my left ear, and I have no idea why I wasn't coming through both. No, I cannot afford to take any more damage in this fucking car. Because if it breaks, I gotta pay for it. Even though technically it is stolen. But still, the point still, st <laughs> point still stands. Alright. My horrendous driving um, from the uh, first video. It's with driving games, I can never like keep the car straight or, or steady, I should say. I don't know why it's so it's so difficult, but the driving in this game is definitely not the best. So. <laughs> we'll see what this next mission I have for Joe, and then I'll probably end the video. I don't want the videos to be too long like the first one was. Running all these red lights. Motherfucker, I know you see my lights. Honk at me. You see me trying to back up. 
and I was in a precarious situation. Hello, Mr. Police Officer. Damn, how far away? Oh, an hour. Oh, damn. That's good parking, actually. Especially for me. It's real good parking. Oh, I... Should I have just parked over back? Should I just parked back here? Nope, I gotta go through the front like a dumb man. And that car looks dirty. Take a load up. Joe, you have to be upstairs, I'm assuming. Came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shut off. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hiya, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen. I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I say. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got me. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Got me? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back here and we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. Good luck, Vito. Damn! Yeah, so long. All right, how far are we looking? Okay, not that far, not that far. Why are you crouched? I try to get this done quickly. See, I wonder. I, 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 I... Now look at this. Car gets scratched or damaged, I'm gonna be mad as hell. I had him paid $177 to repair this damn thing. I don't need to be paying any more. I just opened the door right up. <laughs> Gabe, can I help you? Yeah, hello, ma'am. Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me. 
said you might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Rights Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right, tell you what. My sister's in the hospital right now. If you give me a lift over there, I'll tell you everything you need to know. It's right across the street from the OPA, so it ain't like you're gonna be going out of your way. Sure, no problem. Okay, now I feel like I've just turned into a taxi service. Are you shitting me, Grandma? Like, let's go. Did you just throw snow at my car? Oh, I was about to say, boy, yo, yo, whoo. Oh, that is far. All right, well. Okay, let's go. And take it easy behind the wheel, all right? I seen the way you kids drive these days. All right, kid. The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you gotta get into the back. They keep the back door open at night. No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You're looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back, then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful. There's guards in there at night. Don't let them see you. Is that it? Oh, well, we, well, we still running stop signs and red lights. All right, so uh, I'll probably have the rest of this mission maybe in the next video, I guess. Like I said, I don't want the videos too long, especially if there's nothing you know, important happening. get her dropped off at the hospital all right kid drop me at the hospital right here the office is across the street okay thanks for the ride kid thanks Maria I'll see you 